Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 6 beta 7 is now available for developers. It's not available for public beta testers because if you have an issue with it, you have to bring it to Apple so they can reset it. So it's only available for developers. Now it came in at a pretty small size, came in at 127 megabytes and installed fairly quickly. And there's not a lot of huge updates to this particular update, but there are a couple things to note. So let me go ahead and unlock my watch. Now, the first thing is Apple warns you before installing iOS 13 beta seven on your iPhone, make sure that you have at least watch OS six beta two installed on your phone. You probably already do at this point, but if you don't, there could be a serious issue where you won't be able to pair your phone with your watch. So make sure you're on watch OS beta two first before updating to iOS 13 beta seven, then you'll be able to pair and shouldn't have an issue. So that's just something to note that they, want you to know about. It was in big red letters in the notes. Now there is one new change. And if we go to our apps, I have them in the list view here so you can see it a little easier, but if we go down to, or go up to find my, it's now called find people. It's no longer find friends. It's find people. If I go into it, I'm scrolled to the bottom. You've got the card for me and then I can share my location. I can type it into the keypad with who I want to share it with. I can actually share it through with a contact or use my voice to share it. And that's just a renaming of that app. So it's now find people. Now there are a couple bug fixes and known issues. So there are seven known issues in this particular update. So not that many compared to iOS. And there's also seven resolved issues. And other than some background changes for developers, there's a few things to note. Apps are correctly installed now in the background when you unpair your watch from a phone. And then if you pair it again, you no longer have errors that might display. They actually say display erroneous alerts, but there's no longer errors that will display if you repair it. And then also one thing they've fixed has to do with audio playback. Now there's another thing they have not fixed with audio playback, but audio playback on your paired phone won't pause while receiving notification alerts on your watch. So if you're using your watch and you're listening to music on your phone, it won't pause your music when you get a notification alert on the watch itself. So that part's really nice. Now, another thing they've fixed has to do with dictation. It no longer remains enabled after disabling it in settings before this was an issue. So if you go to settings, go to general and then scroll down to dictation, if you actually turn dictation off, it will remain off before it might not turn off and it will still work. Now it actually turns off if you turn it off. So that's good. They've fixed that. They've also made it or fixed rather, if you turn on do not disturb here, it actually enables it or disables it on your phone. So if I go to my phone and then we'll go to the control center and you'll see, I have do not disturb enabled. If I turn it off on my phone, it turns off on the watch, turn it on, on my phone, it turns on, on the watch. The same thing is true. If I use the watch to turn off or turn on, do not disturb, we'll turn it on and you'll see it turns on. It works seamlessly and very fast. The last thing is there's a bug when you're listening to music using AirPods. So if you're using AirPods and you're listening to music on the phone, and then you try to use dictation on Siri on watch, the music pauses in the AirPods and the watch takes over. Now, I don't know if this is a bug as much as they're supposed to make it a feature, but it's just not working properly. Hopefully this gets fixed in the future, but right now that's still an issue. So that's really all there is in this particular update. One minor change, some bug fixes and battery life hopefully is pretty good right now. It's draining quite fast because I have the screen on making this video. It's been off the charger for about a half hour, but in general, in the past day or so, it will get me through a day. I would expect it to improve greatly though, once it's actually available for the public. So give it a few more builds. It should be good. And I would say this is more stable than iOS at this point. So it seems to be pretty good except for those couple things I mentioned. And that's really it. So let me know what you think in the comments below, how it's performing for you on C on the series four Apple watch. It's quite fast, no slowdowns, nothing like that. You'll see everything seems to be nice and quick and going through menus and loading apps and things like that are working really, really well. So if I go into noise and things like this, you'll see it takes just a moment to load and now it's loading. So it's working pretty well overall. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see more of these videos as soon as they're released, of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description for you as well. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.